The Kaduna State Chapter of the All Progressives Congress, APC, suspended the women's leadership, Miriam Suleiman, for criticizing Governor Ubasani over the huge debt inherited from the previous administration. Miriam said Sani was the arrowhead of all the loans secured by the El Rifais administration. She said she was deeply involved in all. The party accused Suleiman of carrying out actions to tarnish the governor's reputation. Governor Sani had on Saturday said the El Rifais administration left a huge debt burden among which is 85 billion naira and 115 contractual liabilities for the state. Governor Sani's spokesman, Alhaji Mohammed Shehu, said that the governor would not dignify the son of the immediate past governor, Nasir El Rafai Bashir, with a response to his attack on the governor. Earlier, Bashir tackled the governor, saying he was looking for what he was looking for is the cheap excuse for his incompetence. And to talk about this in detail, I'm joined live on the news by a political analyst, Chukuma Okenwa. Good afternoon. Glad to have you join me. Yeah, good afternoon. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, Mr. Okenwa, what were your initial thoughts when you had the All Progressive Congress, APC, suspending each woman leadership for criticizing Governor Obasanjo and over huge debt from, inherited from previous administration? Uh, well, uh, I think uh, it's um, in tandem with uh, Nigeria political culture. Uh, we are dissenting voices uh, are not in any way uh, accommodated. And I think uh, that is uh, least expected uh, from a political party uh, because, of course, criticism, whether within or without, a political party will help uh, the party to strengthen out its ideal. Uh, more so when, it's, when a criticism comes from as someone within, it should be interpreted as like the truth coming from a friend uh, for someone to do better. Mm. Uh, not necessarily like a tool for uh, maybe like a, a kind of victimizing or ostracizing someone for further uh, discipline. Mm. Well, I mean, looking at it from the point of view of the party, they are saying they have the right to suspend Miriam Suleiman. Do you think that is correct? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, if, if the, the, the moment you enlist as a member of uh, the political party, what you are trying to say is that you, you're you going to, first of all, abide by its principles, align with its ideologies, and of course, uh, be submissive to its constitution. Uh, so if the constitution uh, prescribes certain conditions for which a leader uh, or, or, you know, can actually be, be suspended, and then, then so be it. You know, because when you refer to court, in most cases, the court will also refer you back to, you know, what the, the APC constitution says. When you say there's a constitution in place in terms of, you know, party affairs or members of a political party, I'm wondering where does that leave, you know, freedom of expression and also speaking truth to power. You would, you would agree with me that one of the bane of good governance is the ability to speak truth to power. So what would that mean for good governance in Nigeria? Uh, Mr. Well, Kenwa, yes. In terms of uh, good governance, right? I mean, when you. Well, since we're having connectivity issue with uh, Mr. Kenwa, we'll try to connect with him, hopefully, in the course of the news. And that's the end of today's edition of Business Edge. Uh, you can uh, visit our social media handles at News Central TV and also visit our website www.newscentral.africa and you can also download our mobile app on App Store and Play Store and click on Banjo. Enjoy the rest of your day.